Hi YouTube, today is June the 15th and it is 2017 and I'm making this video because I twisted my hair up about a month ago. I twisted my hair on May the 18th of this year, 2017. So, and it's been in twist ever since then. I haven't taken out the twist or you know, maybe just be done around the perimeter of my head, like if I'm putting my hair back or something, you know, up like this and back, then I, I'd sort of retwist it in the front and on the sides and in the back. So that's all I did. And I only washed it one time for that whole time. So almost a month, a couple more days, and it will be an entire month. It will be 31 days, I think. Something like that. But anyway, I was watching a lot of videos on um, on YouTube and watching some women on there who twist their hair up and they let it stay in for like weeks at a time. Some make it stay in maybe two weeks, three weeks. But I wanted something low maintenance and I wanted to try it for the summer just to see if I could get a little bit more hair growth because my hair has stayed basically the same length for like years. I mean, I went natural a long, long time ago and my hair is still basically the same length. Like the sides may come to here and like if I pull the back, it might come to like about right here. And that's if it's like if it was straightened or something like that. And I do have like an itchy scalp. <coughs> Excuse me. I've always had an itchy scalp from the time I was a child. So um, I do have problems with that and I'm like allergic to a lot of different things and shampoos and things that you put on your hair that should beautify it when you are natural because sometimes you have to put a lot of different products on your hair to get your hair into the style that you want your hair into. So I have to be careful with those products because they make me break out and I get bumps and stuff like that, redness and itching and things like that. So I have been unable to find like really holy grail, as they would call it, holy grail products because everything, just about everything I use, I kind of have an allergy. So I have to sort of rotate things. So I may use one thing and then stop using that and then use another thing and just keep rotating them, you know, as soon as like I start getting like redness or something, because like I had redness, I had like a bump here. I don't know if you can see it, and I popped it. <laughs> it's a white head, and I hate popping bumps. But anyway, um, this video, I'm going to try to retwist it and let it stay for like another month. So, okay, I put in the first set, which is this right here, May the 18th of this year. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out my hair and I have this right here. I have witch hazel. I'm not going to wash my hair. First, I said I was going to maybe condition wash it or something like that or just wash it. But what happened was uh, it was itching really bad. So I had put in some, what's that stuff I have? It's, um, well, anyway, it's for like an itchy scalp. I forget. If I find it, I will um, put up a picture of it. You know, like things like, uh, let me see, sulfur 8 and Glovers. I think they have one called Glovers and it's in a, like a little jar, a tiny little jar. But um, this is what I had put into my hair to kind of stop the itching and it did stop the itching, but I'm not going to wash it right away. I'm going to put in the second set of twists first, then let it go for like maybe a week or so, depending on how itchy my scalp is, then I will go and wash it again. And when I wash my hair, I just wash it like I would normally wash my hair. I just put in some shampoo, you know, while I'm in the shower and just, you know, manipulated my scalp, try not to, you know, rub it up too much and manipulated my scalp. And then I rinsed it and then I put a conditioner and then I rinsed that out, dried it and then pulled it back so I could stretch my hair. Because I think the thing about having twists in for a while and keeping them fresh and not looking so bad is to keep it elongated which is to stretch the hair. So you can stretch the hair in different ways. And if you look up here on YouTube, you can see lots of videos on how to stretch twists or whatever, twist in your hair, if you want to find out those. So anyway, I'm going to take out these twists first. I'm going to, like I said, use this, which is, um, I don't know if you can see it, this 
lighting is so harsh, but um, let me pull this back some. Yeah, this is witch hazel. And you can use this to cleanse your scalp, or you can use something like Sea Breeze or the Equate brand because I always use Sea Breeze. Well, not Sea Breeze, but the Equate brand of that same kind of cleanser astringent for your face. And it's it's like a blue liquid, and I always use that on my um, on my skin. But you can use that to cleanse your scalp or whichever way you want to clean your scalp. That's what I'm going to do. But I'm going to try the Witch Hazel this time on my scalp just to cleanse out my scalp so it's not so itchy and then if I need to I'll put some more of that that grease is kind of like a pine I think it's called like pine tar I forget who it's by it's got like a pink top and it's like in a white jar but it's like a pine tar and it, it kind of smells bad and stuff but I don't care because it stops the itching so I'm going to take take the the twist down and I'm going first I'm going to cleanse my scalp then I'm going to unravel the twist and then I'm going to retwist. So I'm going to just start right now because I just keep it up like this. And then put like a little piece of hair on there to because my hair isn't really that long and it's not as thick as it used to be. But this is how the twists look. This is how they look after close to a month. And I just sort of retwist it a bit around here around the perimeter and like in the back so I could put my hair back like this and this really has helped keeps my head cool because it's hot now you have to have on the air conditioning and stuff and you go outside and you like hot and stuff like that but this is how they look now after a month I'll let you see it okay so that's how they look. So I'm going to use cotton balls. It's my bag of cotton balls. And I'm going to cleanse the scalp. And then once I cleanse the scalp, I'm going to take these twists down. Then I'm going to moisturize it and condition it. And what I have here is a spray bottle. And I have in some, where it is, some of this, Nexus Mectris. And I just put it with water. And then I have very, I have very coarse hair and very low porosity hair. And I, I don't know if you know anything about the, the porosity of your hair. If you don't, just look it up on YouTube. They have plenty of videos that talk about high porosity, low porosity, and just normal. Well, mine is very low porosity, meaning that it doesn't take in moisturizers and stuff like people can put stuff on their hair and it immediately goes into their hair and you know it moisturizes and conditions and stuff I could put stuff that just sits on my hair so they say the way around that is to use warm water like when you finish in the shower rinse with warm water and then put your products on there so anyway I have this nexus and this is nexus and water and I really should warm this up I don't know if I will or not maybe I will, but I'm going to do it off camera. And I'll just put some of this in there, like maybe a, a half of a teaspoon, and then with water, and then just mix it up. And then this right here is grapeseed oil right here. And this is what I use on my hair because they say if you have low porosity hair, you should use lightweight oils like jojoba, which I have jojoba oil. And um, of course, grapeseed oil, and they say sweet almond oil because you have. A um, when you have natural afro type hair and it's uh, 4A, B, or C, I think mine is a combination of 4A, B, and C because I have you know different hairs like around here is a little bit the curl is a little looser and then the front it's uh, tighter and in the back it's a little looser. So, but if you have that type hair, you, you know, we all have a tendency to want to over condition our hair thinking that okay the more moisture or whatever conditioning moisture and conditioning is good for your hair but usually if your hair is low porosity those things do not penetrate into your hair because the 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 shaft or whatever you call that you know like they say the shingles of the hair stay closed down when they should be like sort of half open if you got high porosity then the the shingles of your hair would be open like this 
normal would be like this and then low porosity would be just closed shut so nothing gets in so it just sort of sits on your hair but we usually will have a tendency to want to put a lot of heavy conditioners and heavy oils on our hair and stuff like that if you have low porosity hair that won't work and it will just sit on your hair and your hair will not get moisturized or conditioned or anything like that and then another thing about low porous hair that they say you should do is you should put a a what do you call that I forget what the word is like you put um cider vinegar equal parts of water and apple cider vinegar and you use that you know to spritz on your hair to get the build up out of your hair they got a word for it i can't think of it now like i got some timers <laughs> forget i forget the word but anyway, well, you should uh, clarify, and that's the word, you should clarify your hair either with a clarifying shampoo or with a clarifying conditioner. Now, I do have a clarifying shampoo, I believe, and I think it's by VO5, and that works really good. It's kind of like a kiwi type, and I use that every now and then, but you can use apple cider vinegar equal parts to water and then you know sprints it on your hair after you wash your hair and then rinse that out then put your conditioner and your moisturizer and your oil on your hair so but anyway I'm going to get started on this I'm going to turn off this recorder and I'm going to cleanse my scalp and take out the braids or not the braids but take out the twist and then I'll let you see what it looks like and then I'm going to retwist it okay I'll be back so Continue watching. Okay, it's been an hour and 13 minutes. I've had this going, as you can see. And this is the last one. So, this is my absolute last one. And I'm going to just do this one. Show you what I did. And I just did them all the same. I just braided it from the root a little ways down, like so. And this way, when I get ready to take them out again, I will know about how much it grew. And then just loosely braided it. So the process went a lot quicker. And then as you get to the end, then you're going to braid it tighter. And there's numerous videos up here on YouTube. All you have to do is put in loose twists and it will come up and lots of the ladies on here show you so that's the last one this is what I did in the front this is the back so I'm gonna just take this out and then I just made the ones at the perimeter of my hair a little bit thin like the micro braids that's really thin plus my hair is really thin there anyway and then these ones were thicker. I didn't make them into mini braids like I did the last time because it took too long. I think it took two and a half hours. And as I was braiding, I was pulling out more and more shed hair. You know, as you get towards the end, as you're braiding. So this is the shed hair that I got. Let me put this, um, this is like, it's like early evening. And the sun is like so bright outside. But anyway, this is the shed hair that came out. So for one month, that's how much shed hair came out. So this is this is my twist. This is how they look. This is the back. And this is this side. And it took a lot less time, so a little over an hour. Last time it was like two and a half hours, I believe. And here's my little clamps. 
and I had my scissors ready in case I had to cut any two strand knots or single strand knots and this is what I use this um, Aphigy and this is called keratin and green tea restructurizer and I only use this like when I wash my hair because it's like protein and I don't know if I'm protein sensitive or not so I only use that like when I wash my hair maybe like once per month after that so I use that and then this is my what I do with it must have fell but anyway oh, here it is this is Nexus. I know you can't see that because of this light being so bright, but it's Nexus. And it's Eumetrous. And all I did was put like a squeeze, a nice healthy squeeze, and I put it in water. And that's what I use to spritz. So first I sprayed with this stuff, then I spritz with this, then I put on my grapeseed oil. And I'm going to just put this top on here so this doesn't get lost. And so, it just popped over there. See that? <laughs> Thing is possessed. But anyway, this is my braids. And my head feels so nice and cool. And I was going to wash it first. But I said, no, let me put in the, um, let me put the twist in first. And then after I put in the twist, then I'll see how my scalp feels, but I really went over it really good with the witch hazel and um, wiped it down real good. And if it starts to itch again, I'm going to do the witch hazel again and then um, maybe put a little oil in my scalp. So now I'm all done so I can just put them, put them up because I never wear my hair down like this because it, I think it doesn't look right because my hair doesn't grow even and it's not really as full as it used to be it's thinned out a whole bunch since I've gotten older much much thinner it's like three times as thick so I usually just wear it back like a low bun or a high bun and I usually just put keep a piece of hair like some Marley braiding type hair and I'm just going to put this all back. My head feels so good and so cool. It's just unbelievable. But this is how it looks. That's my little ponytail. And it feels so, so good. Okay, so that's it for my twist. My old lady twist. <laughs> I'm going to try to keep these in for a month you know maybe even five weeks if possible if I can do that and then I will uh, come back and show you any progress on any growth or anything like that because since it's braided at the roots I'll be able to tell right away where the growth is you know because at first I said I was going to just dye all of this gray and then that would tell me but you know my hair in the front grows a lot slower than what's in here and like towards the side and the back so I didn't even bother to do that I said I just braid it down like an eighth of an inch and then the rest of it just twist it so and I'm still pulling off little shed hairs but here's some like that and it's added to my ball of shed hair so this is all the hair that came out once again okay today again is June the 15th and it is 2017 and I just finished my twist and I hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and share it if you like to share okay thank you and I'll see you when I'm ready to take them out again I'll probably add something on to this video or maybe just do a whole nother video just take them out and redo them because I think I'm going to keep it like this for the whole summer because I always usually keep my hair twisted anyway but then I would take it down like every week you know to wash my hair and stuff like that but I said okay well let me just try something different I watched a lot of videos here on YouTube and I said well let me just try and do it how they do it okay thanks for watching God bless you I love you and I'll see you in my next video so come back and join me in my next video bye I love you